So I'll sing in my praise unto you You have lifted every burden So I'm singing my praise unto you It's a brand new day Sing it!
Hi guys, good evening. Um, welcome again to another thankful Thursday, and it's red already May, no, uh, first week of May, and diba, there's a lot of new things that we can be excited about uh, during this new month, no, Apparently, a new opportunity, a new uh, time to hope, no, a new time to be excited of, for, of something that will happen in the future. And one thing I think that we are all um, excited about during this time is that in just a few days, uh, we will be um, exercising our freedom, no? our democracy, our uh, choice no? to vote for uh, the next next top model, <laughs> the, uh, the, next, the next leader that who will be leading us and who will be serving us for for the next six years no and if you think of it um parang ano no with just one vote of yung sa sarili mo out of the many many filipinos billions of people who will be casting their, their votes um na, na importante yung isang vote na yon no parang parang laki tuloy ng pressure natin na when we we decide on something that important na kinabukasan hindi mo lang kinabukasan hindi pa kinabukasan ng sambayanan ang pag-iisipan mo parang parang nakaka-pressure no di ba kasi in our life di ba parang nabanggit mo nga kanina na kapag yung decision nga natin sa buhay natin minsan ang hirap ang hirap gawin para may may instances no personal 
experience ko na may mga instances na parang you are in the position to lead people when you have the position to decide on something na whether it's on work sa sa bahay and and, and everything else no? na parang yung pinag-isipan mo naman yung kinonsider mo naman lahat ng ng pwedeng uh, pros and cons no kahit yung pinagdesidean mo na na merong magandang resulta mangyayari minsan may mangyayari talagang uh, parang consequence di ba isang bagay na hindi natin naiisip despite of what we have um, decided on or what we have um, this um, discerned in our life or in our minds and sometimes that's what we focus on no? yung consequences na minsan na kahit nga yung hindi tayo gumagalaw minsan meron ng kaakiban na resulta or consequence na nangyayari so, which is sometimes sa atin pa nasasisi sa atin pa tayo pa yung nagkakamali no? so parang minsan ang hirap ang hirap ilugar ang sarili natin dun sa sitwasyon or dun sa desisyon na yun na parang laging feeling natin may pagkakamaling nangyayari pero narealize ko na during my journey here in Pag-ibig Singles during my numerous times na I had to decide on something one thing that I noticed when when I decide things na, na pap, napapadali ito or napapagaan yung loob ko kapag ito ay aligned dun sa gusto ni Lord yung pagsinama mo si Lord dun sa mga desisyon mo kapag yung habang pinag-iisipan mo pala parang iniisip mo na ano bang gagawin kaya ni Lord ano kayang pwedeng desisyon ko dito na ang epekto ay may please si Lord yung that 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 decision that I will be making is somewhat a form of my offering or surrender to the Lord God. And yun yung napapadali, yun yung napapagaang lalo ang aking pag-desisyon na regardless of what would be the outcome, regardless of what would be the result, kahit minsan may mga instances na may, may consequences na tingin natin ay tayo mapapahiya or tayo magkakamali in the long run we will realize that what we did is out of our love out of our consideration that this decision or this path that we will take is leading us to the Lord God and brothers and sisters tonight as we continue to worship as I lead you to worship tonight no Think of that particular area of your life, that part of your life that you consider na parang mahina ang loob mo. Yung parang nahihiya ka, nai-share, or mag-decide tungkol dun sa parte ng buhay mo ngayon. Or a situation where you think na natatakot ka mag-decide dahil sa outcome na mangyayari. Or dun sa consequence na pwedeng mangyayari. And, if you think of that situation, or think of that part of your life, tonight, maybe it's time to offer that particular uh, part of your life to the Lord God. So, that's brothers and sisters, as we continue to pray, and I continue to worship the Lord, let's pray in the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Father God, um, we thank you so much for always guiding us, for giving us this opportunity, Lord God, to seek your um, presence, Lord God, your wisdom, um, for always giving us an opportunity to hear your word, to hear your message, Lord God, especially on things that we can't decide on, Lord God, for the parts of our lives that we are, we feel weak, we feel ashamed to share. We feel frightened, Lord God. And make this moment or make this time with you, Lord God. Meet us here in this in this 
gathering, Lord God. In this short prayer that we're doing, in this short worship we're doing, Lord God. Because I know, Lord God, that one thing that is certain when you are part of that particular decision or particular life, Lord, that you will continue to love us. That you are here in every situation that we are in. You loved us always. You love us always, Lord God, wherever we are. Especially in those moments that we feel weak. When we feel that we have uh, gone through a lot of trials and challenges. For those moments that we are ashamed, Lord God, you are there continuously touching our lives and making us feel your presence Lord God that you are continuously share, showing your love to us Lord God and tonight Lord we pray that you will be there for us as we master the courage Lord God to decide to move forward to stand on our own feet two feet Lord God because we need you. You are everything that we have. We need in our lives, Lord Jesus. And tonight, we offer this, our part, our lives to you, Lord God. We offer this worship to you, Lord God. As this small amount of what we have, Lord, may this be a way of us also that we share our love to you, that we show you how much you mean to us, Lord God, to you, and as we pray to you, Lord God.
So pray for our country. We'll be voting, Lord God, in this coming election, Lord God, for all the people that will be voting, Lord God. May your will be done, Lord God. I, I know, Lord God, that you are watching over us, that you have something in store for us, that you have a plan for us, for our country, for the next coming years, Lord God. And we know that you know our, what is in our hearts, what we need right now in our country, Lord God. We pray for everyone and each and every politician, Lord God, each and everyone who will be elected, Lord God. May you guide them, protect them, Lord God. May, may you touch their lives as well, Lord God, that, that they may serve the country and, and how much as how much you love us, Lord God, as how much you have served us, Lord. All this we pray in your mighty name. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was, was in the, the beginning, beginning is now, now, and ever shall be, world, world without, without end. end. Amen. Amen. In the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen! <laughs> Thank you, Kuya Kid and Ate Ele, for leading us into that very heartfelt worship. Amen, 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 amen. Okay, so good evening, everyone. Good evening. Welcome, everyone, sa ating Thankful Thursday Live tonight. Hello sa mga Team FB dyan and Team White, White, Whitey YouTube. Hello sa inyo. Good evening. Sige nga, sabihin nyo sa, mga, sa comment section below, no? Kung saan kayo nanonood, kung sa Facebook or sa YouTube man kayo na nanonood, i-comment nyo lang sa baba. And if you're a first-timer, sabihin nyo, I'm a first-timer and meron sa inyong mag-greet from the Thankful Thursday Live commun community. <laughs> Tonight, in our stream tonight, yun na lang. <laughs> All right, good evening everyone. And saktong-sakto binanggit nga ni Kuya Kit, no? it's May. Start na naman ng buwan, guys. It's a new month. So with every new month, we have a new series. So our series for the whole Thankful Thursday Live for this month of May is called Stand. Stand. Tumayo. Tayan. Stand. So it's going to be all about, we're going to be talking about our choices, our decisions, and giving our stand in something we believe in. So ngayong gabi, we will stand. All right? All right? All right? All right? And then, I encourage you guys to type in your names and location, no? Kung saan kayo nanonood ng stream natin tonight para ma-recognize naman natin kayo. So, i-type nyo lang sa, sa comments. So, na, nandito ko ngayon, nanonood sa Paranaque. Ayan, marami na nag-greet ng good evening. Good evening, pag-ibig singles. And, yan. 
And kung first time yung manood ng Thankful Thursday Live tonight, uh, please uh, say that you are first timer. Don't forget that. Para may ma- ma- welcome natin sa sa community. Amen. Amen. Marami na greet ng good evening and good job boards, Christopher and LA and nag-greet si si boards. <laughs> Hi, good evening Mylene, Chichi De Leon. Good evening watching from the multiverse. Hi, good evening. <laughs> wow. And then yes, watching from Muntinlupa. Oh, hi, Steph. Good evening. Good evening, bro. Then, marami na nag-greet ng good evening and their places kung saan man. Do not, mag-invite pa kayo. Itag nyo mga taong uh, tingin nyo would really be blessed to watch our stream tonight. Tag them in the comment section para sabay-sabay tayong tatayo ngayong gabi. We will all stand up this tonight in our stream. <laughs> uh, figuratively, kasi nakaupo ako ngayon. <laughs> so, yun. <laughs> and then, uh, also, if there are May birthday celebrants na nanonood ngayon, batiin nyo din sila, i-comment nyo sa ating comment section ang mga May birthday celebrants. So, advance happy birthday kay Ate Kathy, kay Mariel, and kay Ate Bechay. Uh, this coming weekend na yan sila. Uh, greet nyo din sila ng happy birthday. So, I, happy birthday Ate Kathy, Mariel, and Ate Bechay. Happy birthday! Right. So don't forget or do not, do not hesitate to share the link tonight to your friends and family with the hashtag Pag-ibig Singles Stand. So uh, share nyo lang ang ating stream tonight with this hashtag Pag-ibig Singles Stand. Alright. So Teka lang. Ayan. <laughs> Nandito na tayo sa ating favorite part ngayong gabi, which is our kamustahan. Isa sa favorite parts natin during Thankful Thursday Live. So, if you were to choose which season in the Philippines is your most favorite, so dalawa lang naman yung season natin, ano ang mas pipiliin mo? Tag-araw o tag-init? Pares lang yan. Tag-init o tag-ulan? Which season is your most Favorite or preferred season here in the Philippines? Tag-init o tag-ulan? Comment nyo lang. Right. So, uh, sa page, t- sa mga nanood sa atin tonight, can we request na manood tayo dun sa Facebook page so that we can see your comments para naman ma- ma-flash natin sa screen ng inyong mga importanteng at mahalagang comments natin. Ayan. Ayan. So, again, maraming bumabate. Ah, ayan na. May mga sagot na rin sa ating kamustahan question. Sabi ni Maylin, rainy season. <laughs> and sabi ko kasi kanina, tag-init at tag-araw. So, may nang comment, hot and hotter. <laughs> and then, oh, Steph. Sabi ni Steph, wala. Gusto ko taglamig. December to January. Tag-sibol, may tag-sibol. Ano yung tag-sibol? Tag-sibol. Spring! Spring! <laughs> Buffering uta ko. Tagsibol is spring. Ayan. <laughs> Rainy season, sabi ni Jan. Ah, good evening, Ate Love. Good evening. Thank you for watching. Good evening po. Ayan. Ako ba, ano bang favorite season ko sa Pilipinas? Ako gusto ko yung nasa gitna lang, yung hindi sobrang init. Hindi rin, na hindi rin umuulan. Yung, yung, very chill in the middle weather. Ayan. Sabi ni Ate Love, summer, ayoko nang umuulan. Oo, mahirap. Mahirap pag umuulan sa Pilipinas. Kasi, una, ang nauna kong naisip pag umuulan is sobrang traffic. Yun. <laughs> so, ayoko rin nang umuulan because, just because of that reason. <laughs> pa, pa, magandang season yan. Season ng Pasko. Panahon ng Pasko. Ako, star for all. Star for all. Star for all. Ayan. Para makilala pa namin kayo, no, uh, kasi may iba na nagko-comment that we only see na Facebook user. So, please, uh, manood tayo through the page so that we can see your your seasons. Ngayon ko lang na gets yung star for all. <laughs> Sorry. Star for all seasons. <laughs> Nakakahiya ako. Ayan. <laughs> Tama. Ito. Spring tabi ni Mylene din. 
springtime, yung gusto mo sa Amerika kasi half and half. Hindi pa na humbo na ng Amerika. Gusto ko ma-experience yan. Springtime. And then, sabi ni, ni Kuya Rode, summer. Summer. Summer nga. Kasi, favorite ko din ng summer kasi mga pag beach Though, ang weird lang noon, kasi the previous months, parang umuulan in, kahit summer. I, I don't know what's up with the weather, pero umuulan kahit summer. Though, we still enjoy the, the summer season. Star for all, Vilma Santos. May, may, siya ba si ano? Hala? Siya ba si Terry? Te- Hindi, si Maricel Soriano yun. <laughs> Hindi siya si Vilma. Iba yung kay Vilma. Ayun. <laughs> siya ba yun? Alright. <laughs> Sige na nga. Bago pa ako na naiiba ng landas dito sa ating kamustahan question natin tonight. So just keep them coming kung ano yung favorite ninyong season sa Pilipinas. I will introduce our speaker. Hindi ko na papatagalin. So our guest tonight is a speaker, entrepreneur, content creator, and builder of Feast Carmona. And he's the co-author of Love Connect. Kita niyo, Love Connect. Tapos, and that ambassador for, of Smart Parenting. A loving husband and a father of two. And he is a certified investment solicitor and a financial literacy advocate. To talk to us about why our choices matter, let's stand up. Sorry, <laughs> let's stand up. Kahit nasa po tayo. And give our warm pag-ibig welcome to our brother and friend, Drews Kosho. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Hi, Calvin! Yeah. Hello, Hi, pag-ibig singles. Good evening. Ikaw ba, Kuya Drews? What's your favorite season here in the Philippines? Tag-init o tag-ulan? Tag-lamig. <laughs> Taglamig din. Tam, taglamig, pero hindi tag-yellow. Wala tayong tag-yellow eh. <laughs> yung, basta yung December to February, ang ano eh, meron siyang, di ba, iba yung, basta, except for the flood, kasi madalas pag December, nagkakaroon ng malakas na bagay, yung huling ano. Ang sarap nung ano niya, nung lamig niya. Oo. Yung parang, Okay lang nasa labas ka ng tanghali kasi hindi ka masusunog. Oh, kasi ngayon pag dumabas ng tanghali, grabe, 'di ba? Ibang oh, ibang. <laughs> Mag para para kang nagsisizzle under the sun. Ayun, maraming nagigreet sa inyo. Uh, <laughs> good evening, Dimple Star. Kuya Drew sabi ni Ron. Ayun, pakita nga niyang dimples. Ayun yeah, naman. Ipilitin ko lumabas. <laughs> Oh nga, si Sis Manny, sabi niya, hail rain. Dati meron dito sa Pinas noon. Oh nga, nag hail niya. Oo, pero bihira. Tsaka ang hirap oh. ng hail eh. Tumatama sa bubong sa salamin. Hala, oh. hala, hala. Nababasag yung mga salamin. Tapos pipiso yung laki. Ganun. Oo, oh, di ba? <laughs> pero yun yung December to Feb. Ang sarap nun. Lalo na pag yung January, yung, yung hindi pa magsasummer, may may certain week na ang lamig-lamig ng hangin, di ba? Gusto ko yun. Ay, sana bumalik tayo ng, ay, may papunta, parang bilis na mga buwan, papunta na ulit tayo. Ilang buwan na lang, burn na ulit, di ba? Oo nga, May, June, July, August, September, o oh, four months na lang. Four months na lang. Sisilip na naman si Jose Marichan. Jose Marichan, oo nga, bumalik na ulit. Ayan. Uh, maraming nag-greet sa inyo, Kuya Drews. Sabi rin dyan ng good evening, Kuya Drews. And others are still commenting their greetings to you tonight. Hindi good evening. Na... Good evening. Good evening. Good evening po. Uh, hindi ko na po papatagalin. I will leave the floor to you as we stand up tonight with you, Kuya Drus. <laughs> Sige po. See you later. See you, Calvin. And thank you for hosting tonight. Good evening, Pag-ibig Singles. Um, it's uh, another beautiful Thursday. Thank you for inviting me again. Salamat kay Kams. And I would love to greet uh, my beautiful wife who's watching tonight. Hello, sister love, <laughs> to my daughter Anya and to my son Andres na pa nye 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 pa lang. And of course, good evening to Kuya Bindoy and to Ate Kathy. Advance, happy birthday. Nako, uh, sabi ko nga nakakamis pumunta ng Bellevue ng gantong panahon. And hello to everyone. Salat po ng mga nag-greet. Good evening. Keep on inviting your friends to watch tonight. Keep on tagging your friends. Ang ganda po ng topic nyo. 
for tonight. The topic that was given to me is stand up. Stand up. Tapos inisip ko, paano ba yung sabi na stand up na to? Kailangan bang tumayo after you fall? Is it stand up na manindigan ka? Ano bang stand up na stand up to what you believe in? Until I I saw the why your choices matter. Sabi ko, sige, pag-usapan natin itong stand up of believing in, standing up for your beliefs, standing up for your values, standing up for what you you believe is of the Lord, and decide on that decisions. Binanggit nga ni Kit kanina, decisions. So, let's begin. Alam nyo po, gusto ko lang, two things lang po ang gusto ko sabihin. Four pala yan, two. Two things lang po ang gusto ko sabihin sa pag-ibig singles this evening as I start the message for tonight. Number one, ito pong suot ko na ito, yung po nasa, nasa poster nyo, hindi po ko pwede mag-stand up tonight kasi talagang sobrang fit na fit po siya. So, hindi ko po alam, itong panahon po ng pandemic, talagang sumisikip po ang mga damit, bumili po ko ng mga bagong jogging pants, hindi po maong kasi umaasa kung masusuot ko pa yung maong ko. Number two, uh, next week. Next week, may bago ng presidente ang Pilipinas. Your vote matter, your choice matter, and, and you, that's why you have to stand up for your, ganda nito eh, for your family, for your country, and I'm not here to endorse. I'm not here to 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 encourage someone. I'm just telling you, you have your vote, you have your decision. You're making that stand. Make that stand aligned to God's will. Short kwento lang po. Ito po ay hindi po pumapanig sa isang kandidato. Pero nakita kasi ang dami mga nagpipink na change of poster ng kanilang uh, ano uh, DP, di ba sa sa Facebook. So ay nakita ko yung link, clinic ko yung link, na check ko siya. Tapos meron iba't ibang schools for ano uh, black for the candidate, di ba? For Lenny, yan, nakalagay dyan. Tapos sabi ko, yung wife ko, hanap mo nga ako, meron bang para sa akin? Tapos ano sabi ko sa kanya? Unang-una ko nakita. Sorry talaga, natatawa ako dito. Kasi ang ganda ng topic natin is stand up. Okay? Stand up. At any point of this message at gusto mong kumonek sa, sa, sa buong pag-ibig singles, please comment in the comment section. Ito po ang nangyari. Nakita ko yung school. Unang-unang lumabas sa school. Thomasian para kay Lenny Kiko. Ah, lumabas yun, di ba? Sabi ko kay Love, Oh, mami, ito. At pala para sa'yo, Thomasian. Eskolastika ng misis ko. Hindi naman siya Thomasian. <laughs> Sabi sa akin ng misis ko. Hindi naman sa akin yan eh. Sa ex mo yan eh. Ano kaya ako? Eskolastikan kaya ako. Haba? E <laughs> E na, nalimot ko na naman ang mga tawag. Alam mo naman ako pagkat sa mga tawag. So, buti na lang. Buti na lang ang wife ko. She knows how to stand up. She knows how to stand up. Her choice is very, very good and pure. Her choice to forgive me as her husband. Kaya inuulit ko, good evening sa'yo, my dear wife. I love you so much. My scholastic and wife. Ayan. And sa lahat po naman dito ngayon, magandang gabi. Make sure, make sure to to make the right choices in your life. At kung magkamali ka, prayer ko rin yung napagkamalian natin. May stand up din siya to make the right decision to forgive us sa ginawa nating mali. Ayan, nakikita ko na yung mga comment ng mga tao dito. Wahaha, lagot ka. L-O-L, ayan, sabi ni Mylene. Oo nga, Mylene. Ako naman, tawal lang ako ng tawa. Okay, let's begin. Stand up why your choices matter. It's a beautiful message. It's a beautiful message. Question, number one. Kumain na ba kayo ng chocolate malos? Gusto niyo ba ng chocolate malos? So you say niyo ang favorite etong etong chocolate malos na yung yung minsan kasi binibili mo to sa grocery pero ako natutunan ko tong bilhin ng maramihan sa may Balibago in Laguna. Nakakatuwa kasi 'to bibili mo naka-plastic tapos dikit-dikit hindi perfect yung pagkakagawa sa kanya pero grabe ang sarap nito, ang linamnam nito. Tapos itutunan ko yung isang friend ko, nilalagay niya sa freezer. Nilalagay niya sa freezer ito, tapos kinakain niya ng matigas yung frozen, yung chocolate, tsaka yung malos. Tapos ang sarap, sarap, ang sarap, sarap, di ba? So, to those who know this chocolate malos, ito po ay pinapakita ko lang sa inyo para po kung gusto niyo bumili, i-message lang po. And then, joke lang. I'm just giving this example of chocolate malos kasi baka po meron mag-gusto ng chocolate malos sa inyo. I remember the, 
marshmallow test. Ayan. Kasi this this topic, standing up, why your choices matter, I used to give a retreat to grade 12 students of one school in Makati. Tapos, ang title ng retreat namin is Choices in Life. And then I always begin the retreat with the video. The video ng mga marshmallow test ng mga bata. Ang cute-cute ng mga bata. Tapos, itong mga batang to, uh, bibigyan, ng, bibigyan ng marshmallow sa harapan nila. Tapos sasabihin nung, nung bigay, if you want to have more, you have to wait. Do not eat it. And then, iba-iba yung mga reaction ng mga ano. Iba-iba yung, yung reaction ng mga tao. May mga, ay, ng mga bata, mayroong kumukurot muna para at least maunti-unti. May ibang kinain kagad, may iba naman tinalayong ganun. Tapos nakakatawa, dumating yung, 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 yung guy, tapos sabi, okay, because hindi, hindi mo pa siya kinain, nilagyan nila ng chocolate syrup to entice more the kids. As yung iba kinain, yung iba dinidilaan lang, yung iba talagang inintay nila. Those who waited, binigyan ng isa pang chocolate mallows. And so, there, uh, na isa pang marshmallow, so they were able to have two big mallows and a chocolate syrup. Now, this marshmallow test was to check the capacity of kids to be patient in waiting. Now, what blew me away was there was a story that sabi nila, itong mga batang to may effect daw sa paglaki nila yung result nung ginawa nila sa marshmallow test. Those who were able to, to wait, in a way, not 100%, but most of them, they were steady in a way and solid in decision-making in their life when they grew up in the career they want to have, the business, the path of their life. Mas sigurado sila. And those who were not able to, not 100% again, in a way, parang sila yung papalit-palit and shifting from one to another just they're trying to find their way in the direction in their life. Now, this is not to box someone. This is not to judge someone. Why I'm sharing this is simply, I want to tell you that you have to stand up because we are, you are, mostly the product of your choices. We are mostly the product of our choices. I say mostly because not 100%. At times, there are things that happen beyond our control. Hindi mo pinili, pero someone forced it into your life or nadamay ka, di ba? But mostly... So I think 90% or 95%, we are mostly the product of our choices. That's why we have to begin to make a stand for your best life. If you want to have your best life, you have to make choices in your life. Bakit ganyan ang mga damit mo sa, buha, sa, sa cabinet mo? Bakit sila ang circle of friends mo? Bakit ka sa pag-ibig singles ngayon? Bakit yan ang favorite food mo? Bakit Iyan ang mga pinapanood mo sa Netflix or in Facebook or on YouTube. Bakit na yung mga librong binabasa mo? Bakit yung course na yan ang tinake mo at graduate ka? Bakit ka nandiyan sa trabaho na yan? If you look closely, this is the product of your choices from your past, days ago, years ago, weeks ago. That is your product. That's why if someone gets sick and people say, people say, what did you eat um, yesterday or kanina? And then, chuchek na mga tao, eh pero wala namang ganong mali ah. Ito lang yung nakain ko. Ang, ang grabe naman, isang kain lang ng kolesterol, taas na kagad yung BP ko. Isang kain lang naman ng, ng let, let's say, liver or isang kain lang naman ng, ng uh, ano mang maganda, talong. Tapos sadali, shoot up na yung uric acid ko. And then, what the health practitioners are saying, it's not because of what you ate today or yesterday, it's what you have been eating for the past years of your life, accumulated already in your body. Now, look at all the areas of your life. There's a message that God wants to tell you. Are you making the right choices in your life? Do you want what you see in your life right now? Do you, do you like the place where you are right now? Where you belong? The group that you have? The, the business that you have? The career that you have? Do you like the way you decide on life right now? For sure, no one's perfect. No one can say, oh, 100%. Solve na solve na ako. Ito na talaga yan. But there are some. But if you look at it, it's because of the choices that you've made in your life, especially in your past. That's why you need to stand up starting today. You need to stand up and make that decision, make choices leading to your best life. If you do not, if you do not take a stand, you will end up living your life from other people's stand. 
I repeat, if you do not stand up and make the decision for your life, you will end up living your life from other people's stand, from other people's decision, from other people's choices. Kasi kung hindi ka nagmi-make stand for your life, for your dreams, for your plans, for your goals, may mga taong pinapangarap ka na maging parte ng pangarap nila. Buti sana kung gustong-gusto mo doon, parang love life lang yan, match kayo, pinangarap ka, pinangarap mo, o sige, magkasama tayo, partner tayo. O sa negosyong gusto mo talaga, collaborate tayo. But there are so many people living in this world. I am one of those before. Na parang o nga, no, I realized there's, there's something in this holy discontent happening in my life. I'm not meant for this. Because I'm living for someone else's dream, but this is not my dream. So I wasn't making a stand in my life. I was trying to be in the comfort. Uh, I was trying to, pwede na to, okay na ito. I-leave nila natin ito. Kesa dangerous life, kesa yung risk na makuha natin. But you need to make the right choice leading to your best life. That's why this talk comes with a prayer and encouragement. It's starting today. May God unfold in front of you, purify your heart, cleanse your mind and your habits that you will start to uh, to make the right decisions in your life. Alam mo, ang proseso, ang proseso niya minsan maraming mali bago dumating sa tama. Pero simulan mo na to make that stand. Stand up. Learn, begin to stand up for your life. Begin to stand up for your spiritual life. Begin to stand up for your health. Begin to stand up for your family. Begin to stand up for your financial life. Begin to stand up for that area kung saan gusto mong pumasok ang milagro ng Panginoon. Your miracles are waiting. The one big message I want to share to everyone who's watching tonight, who's joining us tonight, and who's gonna watch the replay later, uh, team replay, please have this in mind. May milagro na kalaan sa'yo, pero inaantay niyang makuha mo siya. Nagpapataya na siya sa'yo. Kailangan mo nang manindigan at tumayo para sa sarili mo na binibigay ni Lord kasi nakaabang na siya sa'yo. When, when I was in elementary, gusto ko pong ikwento sa inyo na sa grasya ni Lord, when I was in kinder, naging first honor po ako. Nung prep, naging first honor din ako. Nung, nung grade 1, first honor. Grade 2, first honor. Grade 3, second honor na ako. Grade 4, third honor na ako. Grade 5, fourth honor na ako. Grade 6 onwards, wala na ako sa honor. Tapon na ako, horror na ako napunta. Consistent yung progress ko, di ba? Pero gusto ko lang ang kwento sa inyo. Na when I was in the grade 1, grade 2, grade 3 na yan, sinasali ako sa iba't iba mga contest sa school. Hindi ko alam kung nasali kayo sa mga contest na yan o meron kayong mga sinalihan na, or napilita kayo sumali. Sinali nila ako sa spelling bee, sinali nila ako sa math quiz bee, sinali nila ako sa mga history history contest. Yung mga, as talaga ako naman, parang bakit ako nandito, di man ako sanay dito. Yung math, yung math contest sa sinalihan ko, inter-school, I was grade 3. Ina-excuse ako every day just to learn the grade 4, grade 5, grade 6 mathematics in advance. Pagdating ng, ng, ng math B, wala akong masagot. Balahan ko talaga. Bakit gusto ko lang maglaro? Ano bang mahalay ko? As I, I, I hate analyzation ng words. Bigyan mo nila ako ng figures. Eh, example, yung mga one is riding the tricycle for the speed of ganyan. Ayaw, ayaw ko ng words. Gusto ko numbers lang. As talagang wala akong nasagot. Hindi ako nakapasa doon. Tapos, there's one history exam, uh, B, na sinalihan ko. Napunta ko sa Rizal, Jose Rizal. I believe it's, uh, ano yun eh, panahon ng mga August yan eh. Merong Jose Rizal uh, B Contest. Yan, sumali ako dyan. Tapos inaral, na, inaral namin yung Noli Metahangere, El Filibusterismo. Inaral namin ng buhay ni Jose Rizal. And then now, here I am. For the first time in my life, I feel like I am winning. Suddenly, pag, pag may mga keywords ako naririnig, ilaw, ah, ito yan. Ah, okay, si Gento, si ganyan, si Maria. Ay, alam mo na yan, si na mo yan. Tapos there was, nasa, malapit na ako sa final round. One step na lang final round na. So the, the, the host asked a question. Nung narinig ko, alam ko letter A ang sagot. So narinig ko letter A. Saan? Ready ako. Now, the, isang teacher ko, nasa gilid, nanonood din. Nakapalibot yung mga estudyante. 
for one reason, nandadaya sila. Naalala ko to. Kasi yung sudyante niya, sinasabihan niya ng patahimik. Ito ko, ito yung sudyante, ito yung teacher. Binubulungan niya. B. B. Sagot B. Ako naman tingin ako, ba't ganun sagot daw? B, sagot ko A. Tama naman yung A. As in, nun narinig ko, tama naman yung A, di naman mali. Bakit B sinasabi yung teacher? Sabi nyo yung teacher pa rin, hindi, B, B. So, hindi ko tinitingnan yung katabi ko. Baka pagdudahan pa ako. What I did, binura ko yung sagot kong A, ginawa kong letter B. Okay, raise your answers, taka letter B. Ako sabi ko, galing sa teacher to, tama ako. And it only, it, it only ended up, mali yung sagot ko and I was eliminated from that round. You see what happened there? I wasn't able to stand up for myself. I was having doubts. I was having, am I right? It, inaral ko naman to, pero bakit yung, yung teacher binabangkit niyang B? And suddenly, because she's in authority higher than me, I believe she was right and I was wrong. Even if I knew, I studied, letter A was the right answer. Now, looking back in my life, there are so many times na nangyari sa buhay ko yun, hindi lang sa mga spelling bee, hindi lang sa mga result contest, ilang parte ng buhay ko na pinagdaanan kong I'm not standing up for my life. I stand up for what my, what my friends would want, to, would want me to have. I would, I, would stand up, I would stand for what others are standing up for their life. I entered the relationship early in my, well, di na nga siya early considered sa mga youth ngayon, pero I started my relationship at age 18 Only because my friends were telling me, Drus, mag-girlfriend ka na. I wasn't ready. Sabi ko, hindi, hindi pa kaya talaga. I don't, I don't have budget. I don't have money for date. This is enough for my college. Pamasahe lang to. But then, sige, sige, gawin natin. Because of that, I entered fraternity. Ginusto ko ba? Hindi. But because someone enticed me. Okay dito. And then I ended being there. And there are so many things in, in situations in my life that I did not stand up for my life. And that decision, that choice, affected what is supposed to be a blessing meant for me. Yes, God is good. If you make the wrong decisions, God can still transform it and bring out the goodness. But don't settle for God's least. Starting today, let's pray, Lord. Thank you. Kasi nakakatanggap kami ng ambun ng biyaya mo. Minsan ang laki-laki, pero ambun pa lang yan. And God is telling you, don't settle for my least. Because I want you to have the abundance, the big blessing ready for You. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 37, it says there, All you need to say is simply, yes or no. Anything beyond this comes from the evil one. I repeat, all you need to say is simply yes or no. Anything beyond this comes from the evil one. One. Kaya ang hirap ng mga trick questions, kapag, kapag may nagtanong sa inyo na, sagutin mo nga ng yes or no, oo o, o hindi, ang tanong na ito, hindi ka ba naliligo? O diba? Subo ko mong sagot na oo o, o hindi, hindi ka ba naliligo? Oo o, o hindi? <laughs> There are sticky questions like that na ang hirap sagutin. But my dear Pag-ibig Singles family, the context of this verse when Jesus was telling, all you need to say is simply yes or no is this. Because in the time of Jesus Christ, the priests, the Pharisees, and other people in authorities of the church, they were swearing not to God, but they were swearing in different parts of the church Because they know in their hearts they have different and evil intention. So they will not say, I swear by the name of the God the Father. They will say, I swear by the walls of the church. I swear by the head of the blank. I swear by the offering in the altar. And this is when Jesus knows the intention versus the, re- the, the, the words being said. Kasi nabihan niya, there's no need to swear. Because let your yes means yes, let your no means no. Anything other than that is evil. Ibig sabihin, alam mo nang mali. Alam mo nang mali. Pero pinanindigan mo yung mali. Ibang klaseng stand-up yun, di ba? Pinanindigan mo na yung mali. So, yes! Pero at the back of your mind, alam mo may hidden meaning. Kasi pa nag-yes ka, 
may makukuha kang deal sa kanya na kahit mali na, malalagod siya. But still, you're, you're making that decision. You're making that uh, answer to that person. And so it's not true. Because there's a different intention behind it. And Jesus was telling you, telling them, don't have to, to wala nang palabok pa. O, o lang o hindi, sapat na. Kasi nung araw, walang pirmahan. Nung araw, people live by words. Wala yung, sige, pirma tayong kontrata. We live now in a life where people can lie. Kailangan pa ng kontrata. Pero nung araw, the words matter. Why? Because they believe word is powerful because the world was created by God's word alone. Let there be light. And so with this Bible verse alone, let your yes mean yes and let your no means no, it's simply telling, it's, it's simply telling us in your life, begin to make the right de- decisions and to stand up. To stand up. Stand up for your belief. Stand up for your values. Begin to stand up. Alam mo, hindi ko alam kung it's it's no coincidence that it's connected to the election happening next week. Because we're, you're going to stand up. You're going to stand up for, for your family and for yourself. So three, three things I want to remind everyone for tonight in your topic stand up is this. Number one, standing up builds your real self. Standing up builds your real self. Alam nyo, when we started when we started creating contents in social media tapos nag-attend kami ng, ng schooling hindi mo schooling para siyang seminar coaching yeah the right term is coaching nung umattend kami ng seminar tapos may coaching siya naalala ko ang mga tao unang tinatanong ng mga tao in social media is this paano maging viral ang content mo because people wants followers People wants a lot of likes, millions of likes, thousands of likes. People wants a lot of engagements, connections. Kasi parang pag lumalaki ka, yung feeling mo, ay, it's either sikat ka, may oportunidad, pwede pagkakitaan, success experience. So people want that. And th- that's, most of them, that's what, what they want to happen. And the coach was telling us, ang dali maging viral. Sobrang dali maging viral. Pero tingnan mo, sabi niya, may mga viral content na wala namang kwenta. May mga viral content na yung mga tao puro murang ginagawa pero ang daming nanonood pa rin. May mga viral content na puro pa yung ginagawa pero wala namang laman na binibigay sa puso natin. Sabi niya, we want content creators that give value over virality. Value over virality. Now, to, to those who are here tonight who are listening to this message, I want you to know that buti na lang Ikaw, I know, we know, may value ka. Because in this life, virality, it's popularity. But value is integrity. Kaya nga, when you begin to make decisions in your life, look at this. You will begin to build your real self when you begin to stand up and make decisions for yourself. You will not be swayed by other people. You will know where you, you, you where you stand in your beliefs. You will learn to understand your values. Sabi nga, reputation is what others think of you, but character is who you really are. Reputation is what others think of you, but character is who you really are. Focus on your value, integrity, over reputation. When you begin to make a stand, you will build yourself. You will understand your, understand yourself more. Ah, ganito pala ako. Sa mga nandito po ngayon, gusto ka lang tanong yun sa inyo, anong flavor ng ice cream ang pinaka-favorite nyo pag pagod na pagod kayo and you want to eat a yummy ice cream, anong flavor na unang-unang gusto mong ibigay sa'yo? Anong hinahanap mo? Chocolate ba yan? Vanilla ba yan? Keso ba yan? Yung may, 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 may slices pa ng cheese? Ube ba yan? What's that? Anong flavor ng ice cream yung pinakagusto mo? Ayan, sabi ni Ron, chocolate. Wow, di ba? Or ikaw ba yung solve na solve ka sa mga dirty ice cream na tinatawag kay Manong sa labas? Di ba? Chocolate din. Chocolate din si Juliet. Si Calvin, coffee crumble. Uy, masarap yan. Coffee crumble. Diba? Ano yung mga favorite na mga... Kasi sa amin si Lola, si Mami, favorite niya, pistachio. Si Love, gustong-gusto niya yung ano, cheese na may kasamang 
yung hiwa-hiwang keso nangunguya habang kinakain mo, gustong-gusto niya yun. Uh, vanilla chocolate chips, sabi ni Maylin. Ay, nako, ako, I love vanilla ice cream kasi lahat ng matamis pwede mong ihalo sa vanilla ice cream. Gustong-gusto ko rin yan. Now, why I'm asking you about this uh, ice cream is I've heard one of these motivational speakers, his name is Kerwin Ray, sabi niya, in finding yourself, in finding your passion, in finding the dreams meant for you, at times, it's like going in an ice cream store, tapos ang daming ice cream na nasa harapan mo, and you don't know what to eat. You don't know what to order. Ayan si Adi, pistasyo rin. Nang, nangyari na sa amin ni Love yun. Pumunta kami ng Nuvali, tapos it was Wednesday, tapos that, that week, nalaman namin na meron palang discount, Wednesday discount, sa isang ice cream store. Kailangan mo lang maglabas ng something pink. It, it was, I think, years ago? Baby pa si Anya nun? Ang tawag nila Pink Wednesdays. Pag nilabas mo yung something pink, bibigyan ka talaga ng discount. As in, half the price or extra scoop. So, nat-entice kami ni Love. Pupunta doon, hala, kain tayo, tara. Mag-ice cream tayo. Tapos, pagdating namin doon, anong bibili natin? Anong bibili natin? Ang dami ng flavor, hindi mo alam kung anong bibili mo, kung titikman mo. Sempre yung 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 dito served doon. Ah pwede po kayong tumikim, bibigyan kayo ng maliit na maganyan. Gusto mo ng tikman lahat, ubos na baka nang bumili. Pero what happened was, you try to buy one, buy another one, buy another one until you will find that right ice cream for you. Malalaman mo, ah ito sa akin to. Ah ito sa akin to. Ay ito gusto ko to. Kaya nalaman mo, ay gusto ko ng chocolate, ay gusto ko ng pistasyo, ay gusto ko ng vanilla. Bakit? Natry mo rin yung isa, hindi pala para sa'yo. And that's how, you, and that's when you begin to take a stand and make that choice. The next time you go to that ice cream store and you're tired and you want to have a good ice cream, excuse me, I want pistachio please, two scoops. O patadagan naman ng bubblegum ice cream mo. O patadagan naman ako ng, ng itong blank ice cream na gusto mong kainin. It suddenly, you begin to understand your self more. You begin to discover your real self more. When you begin to take a stand, when you begin to, 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 to when the values unfold in, in front of you, you will learn to say, this is mine, this is not mine. Ay, ito gusto ko to. Ito hindi akin to. Kung hindi ka nagtitake ng stand, you will end up getting food not meant for you or food you don't like. Iniiyakan mo kasi ayaw mo naman palang kumain ng pagkain na ito. But then, when you take a stand in your life, you will discover more. Here is, the, here is the thing in taking a stand. At times, taking a stand may change the world or at times, it may not change the world. Kung nasubukan mong, meron ba sinasubukan na may meeting, may exam, may seminar, may recitation, alam mo yung sagot pero ayaw mong itaas yung kamay kasi hindi ikaw yung pabibo, hindi ikaw yung extrovert na sanay sumagot, ikaw yung tipong sanay ka lang at magsasagot ka pag tinanong ka, hindi ka yung tipong, ah, I know, I want to participate, di ba? Pero ikaw yung tipong mahihain ka, ayaw mong itaas yung kamay mo, or meron kang idea, ayaw mong i-share. Until someone shares that idea, oo oh, nga, no, yun, yun yung gusto ko sabihin. Or no one gets the idea, mas wala na. It's, it's you not taking a stand. But your idea, you'll never know if it's gonna take, it's gonna bless a world, one world of one person, or maybe not. But the beauty is this. Still, you bring out your unique self out there. And the more you do, the more it will come out. The more about your real self will come out. Some of you suddenly, ay, pang marathon pala ako. Some of you started to, to take a stand for health and suddenly started to run and do some, some tag dito, yung mga bicycles, di ba? yung mga ginagawang triathlon. Suddenly, ah, I was meant for this. Suddenly, you realize, oh, you're for trading. Suddenly, you realize, oh, pang sulitas pala tayo. Suddenly, you realize, oh, pang couple content pala tayo. Suddenly, you realize, oh, pang investments pala ako. Suddenly, you realize, oh, pang business pala ako, or pang, pang, pang married life pala ako, pang single blessedness pala ako. Again, taking a stand may change the world or not, but still, you bring out your unique self. The more you do, the more it will come out. When you begin to take a stand, ang sarap ng feeling that, oh, I'm making a stand for myself. I'm making a decision for myself, finally. And yourself will thank you for it. 
it's it, it gives you confidence, which leads me to number two. Standing up will build your self respect. Self respect. Standing up builds self respect. Now maybe you've heard about this this phrase that you have to earn respect. But I was checking on how Jesus Christ was respecting people. And I realized Jesus focused on giving respect and not earning respect. I repeat, Jesus focused on giving respect, not earning respect. He was respecting but not tolerating. Kasi if Jesus focused on, ay, hindi kita respetuhin kasi you're not, hindi mo ma-earn yung respeto ko, then Jesus will not love that person. Jesus will die for a certain number of people only, not for everyone. He will allow death to happen for a certain people only, not for everyone. And how can you respect yourself and other people? When you begin to take a stand. When you begin to stand up for your beliefs, when you begin to stand up for, for your values, suddenly you will learn how to say yes and no. And you will, you will earn, you will begin to build self-respect and you will begin to build your heart respecting other people's no matter uh, other people no matter what. If you do not stand up for yourself, you would end up losing yourself in pleasing everyone. If you are easily affected, you are easily manipulated. Kaya minsan ang mga tao, eto masakit mang isipin pag election. Nasisway ang mga tao depende kung sinong kausap nila, kung sinong kaharap nila. Yung mga tipong hindi naman yung pag-election lang eh. Kaibigan mo kaharap mo, may sinabi yung may sinabi yung tao sa iyo. Tapos sabi ng tao, "Oy, okay tong tao, yung tao na yan, no? Bad trip siya." Eh kaibigan mo siya. You just say, "Oo, oh, oo oh, nga, no? Bad trip siya, no?" You realize, "Oo nga, bakit?" Kasi you don't know, you don't know how to take a stand. <laughs> and then you'll be swayed by other people. In this part of the message, I want to share with you one thing that happened in my life. Is that, meron akong hindi nakasundo in the way I do things in my life. Tapos sobrang I have to make a stand. Kasi what that person wants me to do is against my values. It's against my will. It's against what I believe God wants to do in our life. So nakita kong, teka lang, parang may mali dito. I took the stand and I told that person, I care-fronted that person, hindi ko siya kinonfront, kinare-front ko siya, and I said, parang may mali po dito. Bakit ito yung gagawin natin? But then, that person as well, hindi, itong gawin natin kasi blank. And she, he was giving me something that is really wrong reasons. And sabi ko, hindi ko pwedeng palagpasin to kasi hindi ako ganitong tao. And you know what happened next? Conflict started to happen in my dealing with this person. And na-shake ang puso ko, na-shake ang isip ko, na-shake the way I do things. And that's when my wife suddenly helped me and supported me in this. Sabi niya, Drews, you cannot lose your peace for the sake of other people's peace because you want to please everyone. I was a people pleaser. I was a warrior. I was a people pleaser. So I was checking, am, am I going to please this person na ma-affect, na-apektuhan? Or am I going to please this person, this leader who's telling me what to do? So hindi ko lang kung ano gagawin ko. Sino ipa-please ko? Until I was reminded, nope, you have to take a stand. What is God telling you? What is God telling you? What are the values that God wants you to have? Alin ba ang sabi ng Diyos na tama sa buhay mo? And so I took my stand and I said no. It wasn't a popular decision. It can even ruin my reputation. But reputation is not who you are. Your character is who you are. And so I took my stand and said, Okay, we'll not do this. Or okay, ito ang gagawin natin, pero ito yung ilalabas mong uh, mensahe. You have to bring out the truth because you cannot cover the truth with a lie. Let your yes means yes. Let your no means no. And it helped myself. I felt like, alam mo ang katawan mo? Alam ng katawan mo kung nagsisinungaling ka. Alam ng katawan mo pag, alam ng katawan mo kapag may mali kang ginawa. Hindi tama. 
And so my what I I feel I felt like my body was thanking me for making that decision. But then it wasn't it wasn't enough. You have to make the next steps after. But what why I'm sharing this to you? Because suddenly I realized for the longest time wala pala akong self-respect. I was pleasing a lot of people because I was getting my respect from other people. If I'm not able to please others, then I lose respect. I suddenly got my respect from what? From my authority as a youth leader and from a, a so-called someone who knows the Bible or a worshiper, a worshiper. So my identity was focused on that. Why? Because I wasn't taking a stand of who I am. I wasn't clear on my values and beliefs and I'm focusing on pleasing other people. I wasn't respecting myself first. If you take a stand and your values are right, you build self-respect and people will see that, oh, I like that kasi mayroon siyang paninindigan sa sarili niya. He knows or she knows what's right and what's of the Lord and he still does it and suddenly you you attract the right people. When you begin ito pa, when you begin self-respect and you begin to stand up, make a stand for for your for life, for your values, you will you will suddenly see who is the real tribe in your life. And it's not about judging people. It's called alignment. When you will realize hindi pala ako para sa set na ito. Kasi magkakaiba talaga kami ng values. And conversion is not your role. Your role is to love. Conversion is God's role. Transformation is God's role. But your role is to love. But you can choose suddenly, ito pala ang sasamahan ko. Because suddenly, my values are clear. My beliefs are clear. Ito pala yung business ko. If you suddenly realize you are for baking, then you will go to people who love baking. You suddenly meet people who love to eat bread, pastries, cakes. And I call it, when you take a stand for yourself, you build respect, and there will be alignment, and you will have peace. You will you will stop from pleasing everyone, but you will focus on loving everyone in different, unique way. I hope I'm giving a message here, because as I end it, he says, I know what you do. I know that you are neither cold nor hot, and I wish that you were cold or hot, sabi ni Lord daw in Revelations. So I will spit you out of my mouth because you are only warm and not hot or cold. I repeat, he says, I know what you do. I know what you are neither co- that you are neither cold nor hot, and I wish that you were cold or hot. So I will spit you out of my mouth because you are only warm and not hot. Or cold. Now, before you think that God is judging someone in this verse, God is simply telling, take a stand. Take a stand. Again, the context of that reading in that part of that area where John was when he was writing Revelation, ang tubig doon binibigay dalawa lang. It's either binigay sa iyo ng mainit o binigay sa iyo ng malamig. Sa mainit na panahon, masarap ang malamig na inumin. Sa malamig na panahon, masarap humigop ng mainit na kape o mainit na tsaa. But no one during that time wanted something lukewarm. And when it was given lukewarm, people spit it out. And the context of this is that when someone is hot in their faith, it's easier to connect with them. If someone is cold in their faith, then it's easy to proclaim the word head on and let God do the conversion and the process. Mas mahirap ang lukewarm. Mas mahirap sinasabi mong, Lord, I love you, but their actions are telling you, telling the Lord, no, Lord, picket ka muna, I'll do my own. You have to take a stand for your life. Now, sinning. Sinning is, avoiding sin is taking a stand in your spiritual life. Now, maybe you'll say, but brother, Jesus, wala naman perfect sa mundong ito. Hanggang buhay tayo, nagkakasala tayo. Yes, that's true. But avoiding sin, fighting that struggle, being conscious about it, intentional about it, na not to do it again, the struggle is real, is taking a stand itself. And that's why standing up, the last message is, breeds leadership in action. You are a leader of your life. And standing up breeds leadership in action. Standing up is not just believing in something. Standing up is voicing out 
it's doing something for your life. Gusto ko siyang i-end sa message na ito. Starting today, manindigan tayo sa tamang sandigan. Bakit ba ito? Alam nyo, ito lang talaga namang gusto ko sabihin ngayong gabi na ito sa pag-ibig singles in this topic stand-up eh. Minsan kasi standing up is getting out of hand. When I look at Ang, ang hirap makita ng mga iba't ibang prinsipyo ng tao sa social media ngayon na minsan naninira na ng kapwa nila, minumura na ang kapwa nila, gumagawa ng memes na na-joke pero it's hurting other people already. Ayan. At that... And try to look if there's something in your life that you can relate with. Ayan. Nawawala wala ang audio ko. <laughs> but get, it's getting back. Okay. I want to show with you to show you three pictures right now. The Pharisees, habang may audio pa, the Sadducees, and Judas. I repeat, Pharisees, Sadducees, and Judas. I want you to focus on these three pictures because these three pictures are people who took stand. They make a stand in their life. They make a decision, a choice in their life. To what? To crucify Jesus Christ on the cross. And for it, in their minds and in their hearts, they are in the right place. May mga bagay sa buhay natin na pinaniniwalaan natin na sa tamang lugar tayo. As we make a stand, we, said, we say words, do actions that kill other people. Maybe physic not physically, but emotionally and mentally. And these people, they believe for so long that they're doing the right thing. Why? Because Jesus Christ came and they were looking for the king like David. Diba sabi nga nila, si David kasi eh, sobrang ginalingan eh. So they were waiting for another king like David times 2 or times 100 of what he can do. And then Jesus was gaining ground already. Viral na si Jesus Christ. Ang dami niyang believer. Ang dami niyang pinapakain. In other words, people know that pag ito, nang hingi na ng aklas o ng, ng army, lahat kami lalaban tutulong tayo. That what, that's what they were waiting for. But then people cannot accept the love, the radical love of Jesus Christ. The upside down kingdom that he wants to create. He wasn't saying, let's build an army. He was saying, let's build forgiveness. Let's build care. Let's build support. Let's let's embrace people you are disqualifying in the life. You, 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 let's, let's welcome grace and transformation and salvation. Hindi nila makaya, makaya to. So for them, it is blasphemy. Why? They were looking at the Bible that they have a different meaning and, and description of the Bible, a different expression of the Bible. Judas knew this. Sabi niya, the longest time, hindi feeling ko talaga magiging, magiging army king tong si Lord until the last time na talagang papatay na sabi niya, tama ang pariseyo, mali ako. Sige, ibenta na natin si Lord. Kaya nga ang muralan nung binenta sa kanya, ilang perasong pilak? That's not even big enough money for, for one year of, of income. So it's not about the money. It's about Judas finally coming into his senses, in his own senses, saying, tama sila. Fake ito. Fake itong si Jesus Christ. And so for his mind, in his mind, fake news si Lord, and they took, they took a stand. And that's why I really want to tell everyone right now, manindigan tayo sa tamang sandigan. Kasi maybe, maybe, feeling natin, we're taking a stand, tamang ginagawa natin, but if we do not ask the Lord, or if we do not consult the Lord, 
you would end up making the wrong stand for your life. We live in a world right now where everybody wants you to become neutral. Neutral. Bawal manindigan. Bawal to make a stand in your life. When you create a comment, mula na yung tipong, that's your own perspective. Divorce or not? Ay, bawal ka. Asulit kami. Ay, grabe ka naman. Makapanghusga ka. In our social media, live in or kasal? Eh, sabi namin, of course, we're Catholics. Kasal. Ay, grabe kayo. Hinusga niyo kami mga nag-live in. And suddenly, there comes a judgment. And then that's when we, tell, we told them, no, no, we're not judging you. But we're making a stand. Of course, we'll go for marriage because marriage is sacramental. It's a calling. But how about for people who are live in? We love them still. Ang dami namin kaibigan ginagawa yan. But if you're gonna ask us, we'll encourage them to, to enter marriage. Kasi kahit sino, gustong gusto pag sinabing papakasalan kita para habang buhay, habang buhay, magkasama tayo. And the world is, the, is, want, is wanting us to be neutral, to be none. The world of the nuns. No genders, no beliefs, no values, everything is welcoming. They want to define God's love as all-embracing and all-tolerating. But it's never about when was the last time you said, hindi ako magayosi, ayoko na sigarilyo. Pero yung kaibigyan ko ng sigarilyo, mahal ko naman siya. Kaibigyan ko yan eh. Of course, I will tell him still, wag ka na magyosi, hinto mo na yan, kasi makakasama sa baga mo yan. Pero hindi mo sila kinansal bilang kaibigan mo. And that's what God is telling us. You can still make a stand in your life. Love is not neutral, yet still loves. So I'm encouraging everyone right now, Make a stand aligned to God's will. The problem with motivation speaking is giving something good without the context of God in it. Diversified, not divided. Pwede magkakaiba tayo, pero pwede magkakasama pa rin tayo sa puso na tinatanggap si Yeso Cristo. Starting today, align yourself, align your definition of success to God. Align your what your beliefs and your values to God so that you can take that stand and receive the miracle you're praying for. Isasama ko lang to, that's why in the feast we came up with the series Citizen. Para pag bumoto kayo, yung candidate nyo, you will look for conscience, competence, compassion, companionship, commitment. People were telling you, hindi pa kayo mag endorse as, as a ministry? And we tell the church never endorses. But the, the people in the church, of course, we have our own votes kung sa kami boboto. But then the church is telling us, yung boboto mo, sana may, con- may konsensya. Sana may competence. Hindi lang mabait, kaya rin mag-lead. Hindi lang, hindi lang mabait, kaya mag-lead. Sana may compassion, may pagmamahal. Hindi lang yun. Yung companions niya, ganun din. Yung tribe nila pare-parehas. At may commitment talaga para sa bayan. And so that's what we're sharing to people. But we're not give, bringing out names. The church is not bringing out names, but the people can bring out names because may kanya lang tayong boto. Kaya nga may iba't ibang kulay sa isang grupo. So, look at the next picture as I end this. Search mo sa Google at may kita mo for people who take a stand, who took a stand and made a difference nasa top one list si Jesus Christ. Because amongst everyone lived as a man, he's one of the biggest person ever who took a stand and made a difference in this world. Why not? He is our God. I just want to share this with you. In Luke chapter 16, verse 10 to 11, whoever is faithful with very little will also be faithful with much. And whoever is dishonest with very little will also be dishonest with much. So if you have not been faithful with worldly wealth, who will entrust you with true riches? My dear Pag-ibig Singles family, start to make a stand in the small decisions of your life. Start to bend the small areas of your life. Minor decisions, but you begin to make a stand. So that when the time comes you have to make a major decision, sanay ka na to make stand with your values, with your beliefs, and with God on your side. Values are valuable. Taking a stand has a price, but is very much worth it. 
So there you go. Hindi ko lang alam kung naririnig pa ako ngayon. <laughs> but that ends my talk. Siguro I'm going to call back Calvin before I pray for the pag-ibig uh, singles family. Amen. Thank you, Kuya Drus. At dinig na dinig ka namin. <laughs> Thank you so much sa, sa message mo about standing up. No? Uh, share, share lang ako konti kasi I was so touched by your message and naalala ko yung journey ko about standing up for my health naman. So maiba lang. For, standing up for my health. And tama yung sinabi mo about your body. Direct na. Your body malalaman mo kung may mayan likang ginagawa na hindi tama that you're consuming for your body and uh, you said something about holy discontent then na parang may 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 decision ako sometimes about my health na parang ah, hindi to tama for my body right now this is not what I want for my body in the future so I need to take take a stand and really take a choice that would matter for me that is valuable uh, for me to consume at that certain moment para mas maging healthy ako and and nga uh, kung nakikita niyo man sa social media guys i've been running and making myself a healthier version of me ayun share ko lang yan about uh, what what i've been standing up for for myself right now and my question lang ako kuya drus about uh, hold, i think related din sa holy discontent um how would you know if you have stood up for the right choice and not only what is right for you for yourself. Wow. Yeah. Uh, before ko sagutin, rinig naman ako, no? Loud and clear. Uh, okay. Kasi mukhang tong mic ko, ayaw na niya gumana. I'm using the, the computer mic. Um, ang ganda ng tanong mo. Kasi at times, parang ano lang, parang, right, just just like right now, pag pinapalaki namin yung anak namin, parang, am I doing it right? Or are we just doing it? Just think, the, the things I think it's right. Parang ganun, di ba? Um, bago ko sagutin yan, gusto ko lang sabihin mo ng Calvin na congratulations the way you stood up for your health. Thank you. And you see, it's inspiring other people too. That's that's the, the power of standing up for yourself. And thank you for showing us that it can be done, uh, that standing up for yourself. And your body is thanking you for that. And yung tanong mo na yan, of course, biblically we will say, by its fruits you will know. By its fruits you will know that there's peace, there's kindness, there's love, there's there's hope na lumalabas. And if you if you align yourself with it, um, tapos ikaw mismo eh. Kasi minsan iisip mo, are you operating out of pride or out of love? Baka mamaya you're doubting yourself, maganda na pala siya, tama naman pala siya, pero kailangan, palang, kailangan mo lang palang talanggalin yung doubt mo. Kasi nga, wala ka palang self-respect sa sarili mo. And you just have to, malaman mo naman yan, if it's if it's not causing hurt to other people, when you say hurt, it's not destroying other people. It's not destroying yourself as well, but it's building up the kingdom in your life. So, ano siya? Kailangan ng prayers din dyan. Kasi ako, lagi ko itinan yung mga Pharisees eh. Parang minsan, Lord, baka mamaya nagagawa ko na yun. Akala ko tama, mali pala. Di ba? Yung parang akala ko, sabi ni Lord, ganito eh. So, God gave us the spirit. God gave us the fruits for us to check. Ano nga ba yung fruits nito? So, for now, yun yung naisip ko siya. Makikita mo sa fruits niya. And when I say fruits, it's not just the worldly fruits. It follows. But more than that, it's the spiritual fruits na lalabas sa, sa life mo. It's, it's supposed to be life-giving. Amen. Meron nag-comment, uh, Sis Melin said, things will keep on coming. So, like you said, Brother Dustin, the fruits, you will you will begin to judge kung tama ba yung decision mo if the blessings keeps on coming. Yes. And, yeah. And may comment si John, sabi ng iba walang tama o mali ng isang tao. And then, my question si Steph, what to do if someone is hurt because we just said the truth that we stand for? Good. Oh, it depends on how you said the truth. Of course, truth hurts, eh. Di ba? Truth hurts. Pero it depends on uh, anong klaseng hurt tinatanggap niya. Was he hurt, she or, or she or he was hurt by the truth? Or was he or she was hurt by the manner of how the truth was given? Uh, minsan kasi parang the truth, the truth was given as an attack or as a, as a judgment to other people. 
But again, we look at how Jesus lived. Si Jesus Christ kasi, he, he gives truth as it is and tells you of what's right and what's wrong, pero in a loving way na, na binibigay sa atin. So, part yun. Doon ko lang siya, doon, doon mo lang siya nalagay yung thin line na kasi minsan ma-hurt sila, parang sa anak mo lang, ma-hurt sila pag di mo binigay sa kanila. Kasi the truth is, it's not meant, it's not meant for them. But then they will learn about it. So I, I'd rather go for that kind of hurt in truth than the hurt na natanggap nila. Kasi na-feel nila sobrang criticize sila, binaba sila, o yung talagang, you, you know, the, the manner of how you you show the truth or gave the truth to one person. As you would say, care front, then care, yeah. not confront. Front. Yeah. Kasi hindi may Isa yun sa mga, uh, totoo po, isa yun sa mga uh, natut- magandang na talaga from you and Ate Love, yung care front, it, it really changed my perspective on talking to someone, especially in difficult situations. Care fronting. Sige, uh, I think, meron akong last na question. Standing up. How about, paano kung takot ka? How about what you want to stand up for? How would you overcome that fear or that, that to stand up? Hmm. Ganda yan. Ako, start, you just really have to make that decision one day to start standing up for what you believe in. And then, kasi you'll never find confidence or comfort before you do it. Eh. You have to just really do it. And then you have to pray about it, seek God's guidance as well para tutulungan tayo. But then, you have to you have to embrace the, the risks na kasama nito. <laughs> kasama yan eh. Ano maging discomfort? Like you, Calvin, di ba? When you started, sa simula niyan, hindi pa kaya, mabigat, nakapagod, pwedeng hihingalin ka. May, may, may mga risk yan eh. May pinigpalit ka din dyan. Kasi yung oras ng exercise mo, before, iba yung ginagawa mo. Di ba? So, you have to understand na meron siyang, meron siyang kapalit, meron siyang mga risk involved but you have to understand and accept as well that you're taking you're making the bigger decision of what is meant for you especially knowing that there's a blessing nagaantay para sa iyo when you make that stand for yourself so unti-unti kung kailangan mo ng tulong pwede kang kumuha kasi may mga taong kagaya ko na realize ko ano pala ako i i gain more ground when i do things with support from other people when I get support from my wife, when I get support from business people, inaccept ko yung fact na hindi pala ako by my own kagad, banat na ganito. And so, since I know that's what's working for me, so kumukuha din ako ng support sa ibang tao. Kumukuha ko ng kabiyahe ko sa ibang tao. And so, you can take small steps, understand that mistakes are present, it will not be perfect, but it will be worth it. Amen. And and naalala ko from your talk earlier, if you when you bring out your unique self more, the more it will come out. So the more you, st- you stand up for yourself and believing in your unique self and what value you can bring, the more it come out. Yes. <laughs> and daming and daming mga bagay na malalaman ng katawan mo na sarili mo na nagpapasalamat ang sarili mo sa iyo. <laughs> Di ba? Yes. May, may mga pagod na pag nagpahinga ka. Example, you're a coffee lover. Magbe-break nga muna ako, magko-coffee muna ako. Tapos feel na feel mo yung katawa mo sa'yo, hey, salamat, nagpahinga ka muna. Tapos you love the coffee. That that experience is a gift from the Lord na you'll know, di ba? Papasalamatan yes. ka ng sarili mo for making that decision, for getting out of that relationship. Yes. Yung parang sabi lang sa ng sarili mo, hey, salamat. <laughs> Ganun siya. Ay, salamat. Tumindig na rin siya. Nanindigan na rin siya finally. Ay, salamat. Gagano'n yung sarili mo. And you will know that. Parang divine alignment. And parang yung feeling mo na, ah, this is where I am meant to be at this moment. Parang ganong yeah. feeling. Yes. I, Oo. You mean, Kuya Drus. <laughs> and since Maylene said, I get the right decision. So that's, that's very true po. We d- discern in prayer and making decisions. Amen. Amen. Basta, amen. Basta align lang talaga lagi kay Lord for me. Kasi sabi ko nga, for example, the word love itself, 
it can be manipulated by other people. Eh. I mean, you don't you don't intentionally do it, but the definition becomes different. So you have to really get the entire meaning from the Lord para hindi tayo mawala, hindi tayo maliligaw ng landas on how we define things, how we define success, how we define family, how we define marriage. Kasi sa panahon ngayon, hindi na usong making a stand. Sa totoo lang, napansin ko siya, um, the world wants it to really be neutral. And suddenly, the definition becomes different now. Malam mo na, parang teka lang, parang people just want God to follow their own definition. But that's not how life is supposed to be. Ako, when I give a message, naninindigan pa rin ako. At the end of the day, si Lord pa rin ang kailangan natin. At sa kanya pa rin tayo dapat makikinig at susunod. Amen, amen. Okay, Kuridrus, I think we can wrap up tonight with a prayer. Amen, sige. Thank you, Calvin. Ha. Salamat sa, sa kwentuhan natin tonight. And thank you again to Pag-ibig Singles. Pray tayo. Let's pray. Let's pray for our elections. Let's pray for our personal lives. In the name of the Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, thank you for the gift of uh, Pag-ibig Singles. Lord, in our life, hindi madali. And we believe that, Lord, as we continue to grow and age in this world, hanggang sa huling hininga namin, Lord, we will be challenged to either make a stand or not. But, Lord, we ask and we seek for humility that you will allow us, Lord God, transform us and change us. Give us that courage to take stand for the life meant for us. To take a stand for that relationship meant for us, for the family meant for us, that forgiveness meant for us, that financial blessings meant for us, that health meant for us, that mission meant for us. To take a stand, Lord God, and make choices in our life to always choose you. Kasi ikaw, Lord God, you always choose us. And a special prayer for our country as we, Lord, have the elections next week. On Monday, Lord, we surrender to you all the voters, all the families involved, affected in here in the Philippines and abroad. Lord God, whoever will be winning, Lord, we ask for your anointing. We ask for your guidance. Bless the Philippines. Special prayer as well for the Pag-ibig Singles Group. Lord, thank you for the blessing of them. Bless everyone who's serving and joining. Love them more and more. And we surrender to you all our personal concerns. Mama Mary, pray for us always. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So we have a few announcements. It, mag-comment naman kayo what what you learned tonight and what what got awakened in you tonight kung meron man as we uh, talk i-comment nyo lang sa baba no? uh, as I go through our announcements so, so pag-ibig single social media accounts meron tayong, tayong Facebook Instagram and and also share natin yung link tonight with the hashtag pag-ibig single stand and meron tayong love offering or answered Chris na, na link that we, we will be flashing so me, we can course your uh, ministry bank account. And then we also have Soulful Sundays. So let's pray together, especially uh, the, the following day after Soulful Sundays. And it's a big, big, big moment of standing up for for free. So let's pray together in, during the Soulful Sundays. And also, you can choose among the following care group schedules here. <laughs> that will be flashed on there. So, meron tayong schedules for men. For women then meron. Yan. Do, join a CG today. Ayan. Ito yung schedules natin for women. Amen. 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 Alright. So, Meron yung uh, a short na, uh, you've seen this sa pag-ibig. So, this is our message. So, as we wait for the declaration of our new leaders, we enjoin you to be one with us in prayer. The whole pag-ibig singles ministry, we bound, that we be bound by God's love throughout this entire electoral, electoral process. And let us leave behind our differences and be instruments of encouragement, hope, and healing in our speech. 
words and actions. And let us continue to walk together in faith, hope, and most of love. Let us not forget this message as we uh, stand up for whatever we believe in. Of course, in truth, this coming end. All right. And so thank you ulit. Thank you, Brother Drews. I comment nyo sa baba yung ating uh, words of thanks and affirmation as for Brother Drews tonight. So yun, guys. See you as we continue our series stand next Thursday here in the place. Come through Pag-ibig singles. Good night, everyone.